Hello guys and welcome to your fifth Java tutorial. In this tutorial all we're really going to be doing is simply uh, extending on the last tutorial and giving you guys a few other scanner methods to work with. So anyways as you can see here I have the solution to uh, the challenge placed, uh, the challenge I gave you guys last time. Uh, here I have the user prompted for five things, uh, sorry four, pardon that, uh, for his name, his favorite color, his favorite sport, and his favorite food. And here I have a nice little summary uh, that prints out uh, the information he enters. So you see name, comma, your favorite color is, uh, and using once again our uh, string, a string combination uh, operator, the the plus sign in this in this case, we can combine uh, the string to include his favorite color, his favorite sport, and okay, I'm failing. His favorite sport and his favorite food. And if we run this program, we should see that everything works fine for one word answers uh, enter your name fictional character Bob yellow his favorite color is yellow uh, he likes to play soccer and his favorite food is spaghetti there we go Bob your favorite color is yellow you like to play soccer and you enjoy eating spaghetti everything works great works if it's a fine program but now look we start to run into some problems when we try to put in one more than one word for a single answer and this is because next interprets one input as one word so as soon as uh, it's separated by a space with another word it takes in the other word as the answer for the next prompt so anyways that might have made no sense at all let me show you exactly what I mean here uh, let's run this program again uh, Bob yellow uh, what's your favorite sport now listen guys if we type two two words for this one so say if we type football and we type spaghetti it interprets these as two different inputs and if, if we hit enter here you see it right away it skips over this what is your favorite food question and goes right to the summary this is because it interprets the first word football as an input for this question this question here and it interprets uh, the second input that's separated by space spaghetti as the input for this question so that's that's a bug we don't really want this to happen so what we do, we need to correct a few uh, this function here to uh, be next line. And what next line does is it doesn't separate the inputs by spaces as they're separated by next, but it just takes the entire line and it takes it as one input. So if we change all of these to next line uh, and we rerun the program, you should see that it works fine for multi-word answers. So say uh, our name can be Billy Joe Bob and what's your favorite color it could be yellow favorite sport uh, soccer for the win favorite food bodacious spaghetti uh, then we hit enter and check this out it works fine for our multi-word answers Billy Joe Bob, your favorite color is yellow. You like to play soccer for the win, and you enjoy eating bodacious spaghetti. All right, great. You know that's it. This thing is this thing is flawless. You know, that's it. We're, we're I'm, I think we're ready to put this baby on the market and you know make millions. All right, but before we get to that, uh, I've finished this kind of you know quick demonstration. We need to know how to get integer input. Now, what I mean by integer input is say if we wanted and I'm gonna simply type a quick prompt up here if we wanted to get the age from the user and say we wanted to yeah I'm just gonna enter a quick prompt enter your age and how if 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 and obviously age is an integer right we set it equal and if we try to do this the same way we did it last time we're trying to fetch uh, with using my scan dot next line trying to fetch um, an integer value it's gonna say whoa 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 it's gonna say that this is type string and this is type integer these types don't match at all uh, one sec it's kinda of frozen okay there we go it's fine so instead of using next line we need to use next int now this will get the next integer value and it'll return it as an integer now then we obviously let's let's print a message recognizing the fact that we've gotten their age yo there we go uh, which will simply be uh, your age is no 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 or or even better you are 
age years old. There we go, great. So anyways, myscan.next and system.println you are plus age years old. Let's see how this works. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, uh, hit OK there. Enter your age, which would simply be uh, 247. Uh, you are 247 years old. <laughs> uh, that's kind of harsh. So, anyways, let's quickly, to recap here, and this isn't really important right now, but it's going to be later very important that you read in numbers as integer values so you can perform operations on them. Because if you read them, as in, them in as string values, the operations you perform on them are going to be completely different. To actually, you know, add, multiply, you know, subtract, divide numbers, you would need to have this interpreted as an integer. And that will be very important in the challenge I'm giving you guys. This is obviously optional. If you want to do it, you, you can. If you don't want to do it, you, it's fine. You can just move on to my next tutorial. But anyways, the challenge is to interpret, uh, for the user to enter two numbers and you to give them uh, the sum of the two numbers. Print, print it on the screen. So it should look something like this. As you can see, we have, uh, we're prompted for, to enter our first number, 5, enter your second number, 6, uh, the sum of these numbers is 11. Anyways, fantastic, nice, simple program. Just review our methods, the next method, the next line method, and the next int method. And you should be fine and ready to move on to my next tutorial. I'll have that one out as soon as I can, guys. Thanks for watching once again. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you later.